Welcome, everybody. Good evening. Hope everyone is doing well today. I thought we were going to get it started raining about an hour and a half ago. We got some pretty hard rain for a little while, but it, it slacked off when it became showtime. So I'm happy to hear that. Um, I hope everybody's doing well today. The uh, when it rains, the sound of the water hitting this metal roof is annoyingly loud and mics pick it up and everything else. So it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I'm glad it, <clears throat> excuse me. I've got an interesting show planned for you tonight. Hopefully, uh, we've got some guests coming on that we, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, been kind of a hot week this week. Today was the first day we got a little rain, uh, a day or two ago. And I mean, as soon as it hit the ground, it was dry. But uh, this afternoon, the rain shower, I walked inside and I said, Lynn, there's a mud puddle in the yard about that big. The ground's just sucking everything up so fast because it's so dry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get a little. Oh, I got a little. <laughs> I got a little something I want to try here real quick. I'm fixing to uh, be and I've got stuff going on the radio. I want to take a little break real quick before I get started. Drink some water. My throat's giving me a problem. Throw a little something there for you to listen to. I hope that came through all right. Um, but yeah, everything's going, everything's busy here in the shop. Uh, talk to my good buddy Jerry Rob at Hot Rods House of Power in Joliet, Illinois today. He's doing good. He's busy as hell. If there's any mechanics up in the Illinois area that's looking for work, Jerry Rob is hiring. Hot Rods House of Power does amazing work that ships all over the world. Uh, so check them out. You can find them on Facebook at Hot Rods House of Power. If, you, if you're a mechanic in that area looking for a job, doing various things, so they, they do a ton of custom work. Uh, shoot Jerry Rob a message. Tell me Johnny Blender sent you. Uh, like I said, he's looking for people now. He's having the same problem that everybody else is having, hiring. It's hard finding anybody to hire. Nobody wants to work. Uh, but, yeah, we got some interesting upcoming races we're going to talk about tonight. Chester Taylor should be joining us on the show sometime tonight. He'll be coming in uh, talking about the Misfit the um, no, the Misfit Gassers event that's coming up August 12th at Holiday Raceway Park. Uh, Jim Cummins should be coming on the show tonight talking about June 17th and the East Coast Fuelers event for Ronald McDonald House. At Maple Grove Dragway, we'll talk about. And hopefully Johnny, Johnny Jordan will be popping on here in a few minutes, and we'll be talking about his Nostalgia Night Race Series, uh, June 16th and 17th. Uh, got a lot of stuff in the shop right now. Got Banshee Racing uh, uh, motorcycles to powder coat or frames to powder coat. Got a uh, Polaris four-wheeler lift kit to powder coat. Uh, just got a ton of stuff going on in the shop. We got some. We had a uh, Bryce McKinney is a new uh, customer for the shop. Uh, nice, super nice guy. He's got a uh, uh, OBS uh, square body Chevrolet truck that he dropped off uh, brake drums and calipers and rotors for us to powder coat. We did a real, real good job with those. They came out looking really, really nice. I was, I see you, Chester. Uh, I, I was happy to see those. Uh, he sent me a message just a few minutes ago, said the color went absolutely great with the truck. So I was excited about that. Uh, we got Chester Taylor fixing to come on here in just a minute. When he gets his camera, I can see, I can see your eyes and above. Now you're sideways. There you go. That's a little bit better. I'll bring him on into the studio. Let me give let me give him a uh, uh, intro. Let me just see if I can do the intro thing again. I'll, as I get everything queued up. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Good. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing good, man. I'm sitting here. Let me pop over to the screen real quick. I got to all the, I got all this computer technology here in front of me, and the thing is, I don't know how to use none of it. All right, we got Holiday Raceway Park, uh, Saturday, August 12th. The Misfit Gassers, along with Pro, Foot Break, and Junior Dragsters. Gates open at 12 p.m. Time trial start at 2 p.m. 
General admission is twenty dollars for kid twenty dollars. Kids twelve and under get in free. So tell us about this event, Chester. What are you working on? Well, we just trying to put something together. We know there wasn't a lot of stuff with the gasser going on since the SOG had kind of shut down for a little while with Jesse and uh, right. I just got a lot of buddies that I work on their gasters and trying to give them somewhere to run. And, so we're and this looks like it's going to be a pretty good event. Yeah, we're going we, to, every, everybody who shows up with the gasser, the gasser and the driver will get in the race free. So okay. they, won't have to, they won't have to pay. And then uh, we got, we got this one lined up and then we got one in Mobile on the, in September. And then, uh, and then in the not this weekend, but next weekend we'll be over there with Johnny Jordan's group and right. the open wheels with the and, and wild hope, cars. I'm hoping Johnny comes on tonight. Yeah, so we'll be there with that. And then actually the week after that, it kind of got pushed on me this week that we're going to be putting on the car show here in Florella at the 24th of June celebration, the Masonic Lodge celebration, and uh, I reckon we're going to try to put it on too. And you know. Hey, will you get me some information on that next week or, or sometime this week so I can put something together so I can promote that promote that show for you? Yes, I will. Uh, it, it, I've not got a lot put together on it yet. But it kind of got dropped in my lap at the last minute. And, and that's so how we, it happens. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. It happens like that a lot. Yeah, I helped start that thing up about 10 years ago, and the car club was putting it on. They decided not to this year, so I just didn't want it to stop. Where where are you at? I, I'm at my shop in Paxton. Okay, where's the car show gonna be at? In Florella, Alabama. Where is Florella? Uh, you know where Crestview, Florida is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about 20 minutes north of it. Okay, okay. I just I I wasn't sure. You know, they you get down to Alabama, Florida, they just start combining names on places. Yeah, well, see, I, Florella is actually the abbreviation for Florella. And for Alabama, Florida, put together. Right, so right. Half okay. our, we got a big lake. Half the lake's in Florida, and half of it's in Alabama. And that's that's where the celebration to be at will be on Lake Jackson. So. Okay, okay, and that's at the Masonic Lodge. Well, the Masonic put it on. It's, it's been an ongoing thing for about probably fifty years here, or maybe longer in town. The Masonic celebration, and uh, they have parades, and they got vendors, and car shows, and. Uh, I don't know if they're going to have the uh, – yeah, brain, brain. I don't know if they'll have the fair here this year or not. They usually do, but okay. they, they, they just shut the whole town down on that day. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, uh, on your event at Holiday Raceway, uh, I know you've got gassers. How is your turnout looking for gassers? Are you getting people talking to you or telling yeah, you what right, right now I have about – 25 people who's committed to going okay uh, and, and maybe we got a few more that just ain't they ain't said they're gonna go but you know I, I feel if i get 20 20 to 25 people to show up being this to be the first event i put on i feel i'll be done a win you know are y'all gonna do anything friday night they have testing tune Thursday night up there we will okay. be up there and if there's enough people show up we may try to do a gambler race and uh, that track does not do a test and tune on Friday. I, I just, I, I don't know why, but uh, everybody has their reasons. Yep. And, uh, hey, how's the food there? I've not been there, but everybody really likes that track, the scenery, and the food. So you know, which will be set up there. We're gonna we're gonna take our travel trailer, and and I got a big grill that hooks to the back of it, and we're gonna cook for you know, two or three days there. I don't okay. ever turn nobody away if they're hungry. Are you going to get there on Thursday? <laughs> yes, I'm going to come up there Thursday and, and stay till probably t come home Sunday. That way I'll be there the whole whole event. Hey, do you got a pen and paper? Yeah. Could you write a couple of things down to check for me? Would you check to see if there is good cell phone service at Holiday Raceway? Yeah. Uh, if, if you could let me know that, the reason I'm asking that is if I come up there and do a live remote and broadcast, I want to be able to have signal to get the get the the, serve, the, the broadcast out. Yeah, I'll talk to the guy who runs the track. I'll okay. send him a message, and uh, 
tell him that we have somebody interested in coming up there doing a live live show and uh if they got service there. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. And uh <laughs> You know, me escaping from this zoo here Thursday would be really detrimental to my health. Or no, not detrimental. That's bad. It would be good for my health. Yeah. I, I know the feeling. I can't wait to get away from here. Man, I, you know, it, it's it, it, it's bad. It's work is there's just too much of it. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I left work today and come home, come to my shop, and I got three motors to build this weekend. That's what I was in there clearance in the. A stroke in a small box four just a minute ago. So. Yeah, it's it's. I've got an. I'm here at the shop. I'm I'm by myself. I've been by myself. Can't find any help. And I am very lucky that I have enough work for five people. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, that, that's brutal. Yeah, I'm, I'm about eight race cars deep right now. And people they want their stuff yesterday. Yep, I've got and, and now I'm starting to get hit with cruising the coast stuff because last year, the last couple of years, everybody drops their stuff off four days before cruising the coast starts. So I get just trailer loads of stuff people want sandblasted and powder coated. And oh, I'll yeah. talk next year. I'll get it this year, but I'm still gonna start taking stuff in for cruising the coast in June, and I'm gonna stop in September. That's right. That's it. Unless it's a, a really good customer that's been with me for the all 20 years, I, I, I may, but most of them are smart enough and know how I work that they're not going to put me in that situation. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop taking the cruise from the coast stuff in in September. I just, yeah, that that 200 pieces 48 hours before the show. Well, I need it for having, I want to get a short car show contest. I'm like, <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this event is the same time every year. Why do you wait 48 hours before? Oh, yeah. So, well, well we, we redesigned how we wanted the truck to look, or we were just redesigned something, or we wanted to change the color scheme. I said, you did that, not me. That's right. <laughs> so, I, I understand that. How's your daughter doing? She good. She she went in there and had some, a little bit of surgery on her mouth, pulled some teeth, to work on her bone up under it. She's tough. I've had to keep her off her go kart all week. That's been the worst thing. Uh, that's tough. <laughs> that's tough. Yeah. All right, man. Well, is there anything else you want to tell us about this event, or that you want to? Uh, do Do you have a pre registration or anything that you're doing with it? I've, I've asked people to send me a message and tell me if they're going to be there, where I can kind of turn in a list. But you know, if they don't, they they're more than welcome to do it at the gate. Uh, I've, I've had a few people sponsor some things, but what I've asked for the sponsor, any sponsor that wants to come in is i really want gift cards to give away that way the gift card the, the money will go back to the company that is, is given the sponsorship so it's just not them giving money away you know maybe if they give 25 or 50 buck gift card i can give away then then, then maybe it uh that's good get them more business at their companies yeah well they, 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 it's return on investment they can see it yeah, they get to see it back instead of it just going away. So right, right, and that's that's really smart, Chester. That's a, that's a really good way to do that. Uh, yeah. Are you going to have any of the the uh, uh, front engine guys going to be there, or have you heard any, they have an event that weekend? Well, uh, Scott and I've got an event at the Montgomery that same weekend. And, uh, okay. This was just the, this was the only date that I could get that didn't contradict any other gas or races and. So we just kind of had to go with it. I would like, I'd like to keep the open wheel guys where they could run with us. The one at Mobile, they'll be with us that day. So right, okay, okay. It just makes for a better event to have more people there. But okay, well, we'll look, Chester, what we do. I want to get you in here a few more times. We got some time between now and August twelfth. I want you to get you in here a few more times uh, to to talk about this and, and as things evolve and and we get more of a car count and things like that and. and other things that are going to happen, I want to know that so we can keep that. Because, you know, the great thing about these race events is they're, they're all family friendly. Oh, yeah. It's, it's and, a big and, family and thing. So. When, we get the, when we get families in there, that's that's when it's the best. The fathers, yeah. sons, fathers. When I, show up, when I show up, I'm usually 10 deep of, of all family members and youngins running around. We look like the Brady Bunch showing yeah, up. So. Well, that's a good way to be. That's a good way to be. You got, you got plenty of help in the pits. Oh, yeah. So maybe next time I come home, I, I made a custom trophy to give away for the best reaction time. Okay. So maybe I'll have it done and uh, 
we can show it. I can put it behind me or something, show people what they're going to get. That's awesome. so. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule, to, uh, uh, Chester. Make a few minutes for me tonight. I appreciate you, your your help getting the word out. All right. I see you there, David. Thank you, Chester. I'll talk to you later. Have a great evening. Right. You too. All right, that was pretty cool. That was Chester Taylor with the uh, Misfit Gas. All right, I got to got to switch my screens around real quick. We've got somebody else coming on board. I see Mr. David Reich is in here. This guy, let me clear this off for Chester and get David's stuff up here. Hey, David, where are you? There you are. Hey, man, there you are. Hey, John, how's it going? I'm doing great, man. I want to know how that baby is. Oh, he's so great. I just put him in the bed. Well, I, I, I yeah. won't talk too loud. So <laughs> no, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. He's got two dogs dark barking downstairs. Okay. He's fine. Okay. David Reich is at David. I put GM at Crescent Cannon. I didn't know what your position was, but that sounded pretty good. You can correct me on that because I'm usually wrong. But uh, everybody's been hearing <laughs> me all these years talk about Crescent Can of CBD products and what it's done for me and what it's done for my wife. This stuff is unbelievable. In fact, I was I was feeling kind of sick about an hour, hour and a half ago. I think I got a little too hot today on the tractor. And uh, went inside, got a shower, cooled down a little bit, ate a little something, and took some of my Crescent Can of CBD drops. And in just 15 or 20 minutes, my energy came back and I felt a lot better. So I was, I was excited knowing that, that I was feeling good when I came out here and you had you on. Uh, I love hearing that. Um, um, how's everything going with Crescent Canna? Things are going, things are going really well. We're uh, in an exciting position. Um, we have launched several new products uh, over the last couple months that we're really excited about. Um, yeah, we are, you know, originally, started as a CBD company making tinctures and topicals like you just demonstrated right there um, for uh, all sorts of use cases and benefits. Um, but over the past year, year and a half, we have, in addition to those CBD products, we've been launching a whole line of THC products from gummies to uh, cereal bars to our newest product, Crescent 9 THC Seltzer. Yeah, and 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 uh, Sarah, uh, Helen is supposed to be sending me some of that because I told her I said, "Man, I was a bartender for twenty three years. I want to try this stuff." Oh, it's so good. She, I, I I can't believe you haven't you haven't tried it yet. We will definitely get you some. ASAP. I, yeah, she, she she I think she's got a package that went out to us yesterday that she was putting some of that in, and I, I told her I said, "Well, I, I got her on the phone the other day, and when I was talking to her trying to schedule this." I think I kept her laughing. I said, yeah. when she answered the phone, she said, I said, this is John. She goes, hey, how are you? I said, you're not pregnant, are you? <laughs> she, she started laughing. I said, man, what's in the water over there at Crescent County? Yeah. So wow. <laughs> it, 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 it's pretty good. We, like I said, me and Lynn swear by the products. We've been using them now. And I, I think Lynn had told you about uh, the problems that she was having uh after her heart issues and everything and you know she has just been she was with the medication that they had her on and everything she was just 15 20 minutes up and that was it she couldn't stay up any more than that and uh i told her i said just quit taking all that pill i said just try crescent can of cbd oil for one week and she goes as bad as i feel now i will so she started trying it. It's been in here in the house for years, but she she started trying it, and she got out and started working on the land, and she started clearing land, and she'd go down there for an hour, hour, 15 minutes, and then come in and sit down and cool off for a while and go back down for maybe another hour. She did this over a period of a week and a half. She went from an hour to an hour and a half at a time to five, four, five, and six. Today, she was down there for six hours working. And wow. that's all the, everything, all the prescription drugs that, that they gave her, she just quit taking them because she was not getting any better. She had her quality of life had gone down. It was just terrible. 
And she now swears by Crescent Cannon. She's got her, no matter what she's doing at one o'clock, she goes in and she takes her drops. Uh, well, we, I mean, I was so sorry to hear um, what Lynn has been going through. And I'm obviously, you know, thrilled that the products are so helpful for her and that you and so many people in your audience have been uh, feeling benefits from, from those products. It's, you know, it's why we do what we do. How is the uh, how is the T CBD business? So the CBD business is you know it's where this all started. We have a you know a strong and loyal customer base for those products. But to be totally honest, where we're seeing growth, where our business is headed, is in the THC products. Many of, many of which also contain CBD, right. but it's with products that um, are designed to provide a. Um, uh, euphoric or in, you know, psychoactive experience. Um, they're also great for sleep and for just making you feel really nice. Um, Helen sent so, us some of the sleep gummies and those really, mm -hmm. those really helped me cause I have a hard time sleeping. Um, but what we're, what we're, yeah, people, people use those sleep as well as just our regular old THC gummies for sleep as well. Um, but what we're seeing is that a lot of people want to, want to get a nice buzz, uh, whether, you know, they've been hitting the bar and going to have a few beers or, you know, maybe going behind the bar and doing something else. Right. Uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring that experience into the bar. So you can now, instead, if you don't want to, you don't want to have, you don't want to drink, whether it's because, uh, you just want to be a little healthier. You don't want the calories. Maybe you're taking off booze for Lent. Uh, we're providing bars, restaurants, and uh, groceries uh, with a actually fun alcohol replacement called right. Crescent 9 THC Seltzer. Now, I know that your products are available online at CrescentCanada.com. And don't forget, if you, if you want to try these products, you can go to Crescent Canada. Don't forget to use the discount code that's on your screen right now, Edge 2023, for 30% off your entire order. This is great. This is not this is not only a helpful product, but it helps you save money as well. So that's what we do here at Whiskey Cars mm -hmm. and Cigars. We try to match, we try to put people and products together <laughs> and, and help people. Uh, one of the great things that I've seen on the the CBD products, and one of the things I like when I think when me and you first started talking, is some of the other CBD products out there were multi-level marketing stuff. And I am so mm -hmm. not a multi-level marketer. I don't like that at, at all. Other than the website, uh, how is your availability for over-the-counter or going into public uh, places to find Crescent Canada CBD products? Do you have anything like that on your website where people can locate a product in an area instead of order it? We don't have a, have like a store locator um, okay. on the website. Um, but you can always reach out to our customer support and uh, through the website, just support at CrescentCanada.com and you can uh, let them know where you're located and we'll find the closest retail outlet to um, purchase what you're looking for. If you're in Louisiana, we do have hundreds and hundreds of locations across the state, you know, more right. concentrated in the New Orleans area and the greater New Orleans area. Um, but we are, you know, truly statewide. Um, so, you know, we, we are have started in New Orleans with our you know growing our footprint, uh, but we hope to be you know even more widely available soon. That's good. Are there any new things that are be coming out from Crescent Canada this year? Yes. So, we'll, let's bet. We, so we just we've just launched a few new products. Um, we launched uh, our high potency THC gummies earlier this year, um, and then we followed that up with a bite size uh, cereal bar uh, that resembles uh, Fruity Pebble cereal um, with 25 milligrams of THC. Um, that just came out a couple of weeks ago. And then during Mardi Gras, we launched Crescent 9 THC Seltzer. Um, and now on the horizon, we have uh, at least three new flavors of Crescent 9 that are being worked on as we speak. And we hope to launch those new flavors later this year. Um, we also have several new flavors of gummies coming out. 
okay. um, probably in the next two months. Okay. Okay. That's that's good. To and those hear. will all be available. Those will all be available on our website, and almost all of those are products will be available in store as well. Okay. All right, man. I'm 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 really excited about Crescent County. You know, y'all are a down home business down here in Louisiana, which which is is dear and dear to our heart. So we like to like to help those out. And like I said, uh, when I went from one company, uh, I was looking for another another CBD product that was good and had good reviews on it. And I found Crescent County, and I was like, huh. They're right here in Louisiana. Let me check yeah. this guy out. And that's when me and you first started talking. And uh, I, I really got to tell you, I am just, I am pleased with the company, but I am, I do have one problem. When y'all were at doing something at Tipitina's, I told Helen, I said, why didn't y'all call me for that launch? I would have brought the drag. <laughs> uh-huh. we'll, be, we'll be at Tipitina's again. We're, I would have uh, brought the dragster out there, especially so if you're there, you can. We got the new body going on it, and I don't know if you saw the uh, the new background poster, our, our 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 show banner that we have when we're on location that had the the Crescent Canna uh, 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 logos on it. I don't know if you saw that or not. I haven't seen that yet. I, l- l- send it to me. Let me take a look at that. That's I will, awesome. I will, we would love to get The only thing, the green that it was clashed with the white background uh-huh. of the color. It was faded out real white, real, real, it faded out. And the uh, the graphics company added some blue to it. So it's about the, the kind of the top mm-hmm. of the color of that, that uh, can behind you on that, on your banner. <laughs> It's kind of yeah. that color with the white in it, Crescent Camp. It looks really, really good. I think you'll be pleased. Uh, and then we're going oh, with I can't that, wait to see it. We're going with that same uh, logo on the dragster body as well. Oh, well, that's so cool. We we love Tipitinas. They were the first music venue in New Orleans to carry yep. Crescent Nine. So we are thrilled to be a part of their I got a part a of that historic venue. I yep. got a question for you. The band Galactic. Mm-hmm. Is that the guy he owns Tipitinas? I don't know all the details about how that came about, but Galactic owns owns the venue now, as of I, a couple yeah, of years ago. I, I, those are like an underground band. I got a friend out oh, in yeah, they're out, so good. out on the West Coast that's a DJ, and I sent him some some of Galactic's music. I said, "Dude, check this out." He called me and he said, "Where did you find that?" Mm-hmm. I said, "What do you think?" He said, "I love that." I, uh, I can't remember what there. I sent him two or three songs. But he's like, man, he said, where's this? I said, they're out of New Orleans. I said, just look online for him. And he's called mm-hmm. me and he said he has worked in some of his party mixes and stuff that he does. He said he's worked galactic music in. And he goes, the 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 crowd goes crazy when he start when he brings it in and starts playing it. So I, I thought it was pretty cool. And I was reading something and I saw the link between Galactic and Tipitinos, but it it wasn't real defined so i wasn't real sure mm-hmm. what it was they've been playing there for decades and i you know used to go to their lundy Gras show every year all they play right. all night all right awesome. man well i really appreciate you taking taking time out of your busy schedule i know you got that baby and everything else so i appreciate you coming on you are welcome anytime you want to come on the show if you've got a new product you want to talk about anything you or helen just message me uh, I'll keep the 715 hour open for you for, for, for uh, the future. Well, thank you so much. And I, you know, I really can't thank you guys enough for all the support. Um, we'll do this again for sure. All right, man. I appreciate it. That is David Wright. Hey, Dave, what is your position with Crescent Canna? I am a co-founder of the company and the chief marketing officer. CMO. Okay. I'll change. <laughs> I'll have that on there. Change it for next time. Yeah. I, I'll have it for next time. I appreciate it, man. Have a great evening. Thank you for this great product. All right. Have a good night. Thank you. All right, buddy. Thank you. All right, man. I think that's great. Crescent can of CBD products. I have been using them for years. I had loved their products. The THC products are also out there, but I, I don't use those as much uh, because in, in, in my crazy life, Euphoric is the last I, between the moonshine. I don't need no more euphoria in my life. All right, let me jump up here. Hold on just a second. 
Uh, I got another. I got another outlaw here. I see his. I see his big head sitting there in the screen. If I can find my mouse again, let me take these down. Get some new banners up. Oh, hold on. Look at a couple of these comments real quick. See you all. Glenn Culbertson. Hey, buddy. How you doing? James Hughes. Hey, buddy. How are you? Mr. Robert Forrester. Glad you tuned in tonight. Uh, John Ubasic. How you doing, buddy? Everything over there on the West Coast. Uh, all right. Let me jump in here real quick. I see I got my good friend Jim Cummins in here. Hey, old man. What are you doing? Hey, John. How you doing, brother? Hey, man. This is Race for the House. Yes. Ronald McDonald House. We couldn't call it Ronald McDonald House, so they called it Race for the House. That's next Saturday. Right. And That's it's a great charity Park. event. We bring out a whole bunch of cars. We raise a whole bunch of money for them. There's a hot dog thing that a gentleman comes out, cooks hot dogs, doesn't want a penny. He sells them, and it goes directly to the house. Um, it, it, it's just an amazing event. And and y'all is this y'all have been doing this for a, a number of years, had you, Jim? Been doing it, you know. Um, we've been doing it. The East Coast Fuelers has been part of it for the last two years, but um, Tim Krause has been doing it. Who's a member of us? He's got a bad altar, you know. Awesome, right. and uh, he's been a proponent of it for a whole bunch of years. And he said, "Hey guys, we got to do this," and we all said, "No problem." So you know, um, and it's a great event. It, it's an awesome. Ronald McDonald House. Um, we got a guy, uh, Kyle Clemmer with Don Landis. His dad is a private pilot and he flies kids back and forth, families. So he does a whole bunch of things like that with Clemmer moving and storage and stuff. And, you know, Lucky Dog Bar and Grill comes out and all of that stuff for those guys. So it's awesome. All right. So I'm looking at this. It's spectators is $20 per car load. Yes. yes. Per car load. Per car load. Yes. Hey, that, man, that's awesome. And I, it's a great it, show. Bring the family. That, that's that's great. I'm looking at uh, y'all going to have nostalgia super stocks, uh, nostalgia sock and super stocks there. Yes. yes. They're going to have a gambler's race, super pro yes. classes sponsored by high yep. grade and, and solutions. And we're out there just for exhibition. A couple of funny cars are going to be out there. Um, just for show, raising money. It's all we do it. We don't get any money on this. We just bring the show. Did y'all do a show last weekend, Jim? Yeah, we were at Wilkesboro last weekend. This weekend we'll be at Cecil County. And then next weekend, I'll be down in um the new 710. We'll have four cars. It's the all Harley drag um or by Paul Watson put this together. It's all Harleys, and we're going to be something different for the show as well. And that's going to be a huge show. That's good. Hey, uh, John, you basically told me to tell you hi. Hey, man. How you doing, John? <laughs> all good, man. Uh, let's see. We've got – you've got the uh, – the the event has got some really good sponsors. Yes. Uh, and I hope you don't mind if I take a minute to mention the sponsors because anybody who helps a charity like this, I like yeah. to make sure the word gets out Absolutely. on them. Absolutely. Please do. So we've got Safeco Insurance is going to be one, uh, High Grade Maintenance Solutions, mm -hmm. uh, A1 Mulch, A1 Towing, uh, Apex. I can't read the what Apex does, but uh, Daryl Tillman Realty Group. Yeah. Uh, uh, The Stottlemyer family. Uh, this uh, they've got a memory of Cindy Yates on here. Yes. Uh, so they D DZM Automotive. Uh, uh, they're going to have photography by Nicole Signor. There, graphics impressions of America's Incorporated. Uh, so you know, I want to keep following this up every. I'll do. I'll be promoting this show this week and next week on my show. This event. Awesome. Uh, and I'll, I'll make sure I blow those up a little bit so I can make sure I can read all of the sponsors names. Uh, and you might want to, we're, we're definitely going to mention them in the event again next week on the show. So yes, uh, please. Yeah, yeah, we, we want to talk about those and, and, and sponsors that make all this happen. It, it makes everything happen and it makes it viable and it raises, this is a great charity and um, Denny Parisian has been doing it. And um he kind of started, hey, this would be neat, and then just it exploded, and, and it, it became I, – I, I know he makes or generates thousands of dollars, like tens of thousands for these guys, and it's awesome. Right. 
And, and that's great, man. You and, know, that's and, helping you know, kids. It's the Ronald McDonald House. So. Yeah, it's helping kids, man. Yeah, exactly. Helping kids and the families of kids that are that are suffering that need help, and it works. Yep. What else going on, big guy? You got the? Uh, are you you're, you're up there in New Jersey? Are you suffering from the Canadian smoke? Yeah. It, yesterday it looked like Mars. Um, I, I was waiting for either a comet, <laughs> meteor, or a mothership to land. <laughs> That ain't good. <laughs> no, it was it was quite interesting. Um, they they said that it, they it's said that it was all the way down to Greensboro, North Carolina today. I can see that. I can see that. Man, I can't. I can't imagine. I know what it's like when Lynn's burning leaves here. <laughs> well, you smoke your cigars, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, all right, man. I really appreciate you coming on, Jim. No, man. Thank you, John. Thank you. How how, how, are, how are the guys in the group? Uh, last weekend were great. You know, um, Ray, we had uh, Jim Gloyd out with his nitro, blown nitro cards, doing some hits. Um, Ray Urban, Uncle Ray, Tim Spurrow, Bob, um, Flying Ryan Carey, and myself. So we, we put on a good show, you know. How's and Ryan I, doing on that car of his? He's doing good. He's getting there, you know. He's, 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 he's got to keep the tune conservative so he keeps the parts in the pan. But, right. Uh, <laughs> But it's hey, good. If you, next time you talk to Ryan, tell him to reach out to me. I was me and him were me and when he first bought that car, me and him were talking a lot. Then over me, him and Steve Godwin, then just over the years and COVID and everything, I've kind of lost touch with those guys. And I really liked Ryan. Ryan's good people. His dad, Bob or Rob or whoever you want to call, him, but Bob Carey, he's good guy. He's a good old boy. He's he's good. He's good people. So how's Charlie? You talk to him? Charlie's good. He's doing well. Um you know, getting things straightened out so we can go, go and do stuff. So it's all good. You know, that's good, man. Yeah. That, yeah. That's good. It's all good. It's all good. Hey, you know? uh, Jim, John, you basically, I don't know if you can see the messages. He's, he's putting message up. I don't know if you can see those or not. Let on your just, screen. Let me see. No, I don't see them on here yet. Okay. So. It says, Jim, I may be interested in some sort of sponsorship like this in the future. We possibly could get involved in with you, uh, you absolutely. and your folks, <laughs> uh, you know, absolutely, John. John, we got to hook up together between me seeing patients all day and running around like there's a short handle broom, I'll sweep the floor. But, um, we got to get together, you know, he's in a different time zone, which is better because I can sit and talk to him when I'm not running crazy. But I, I we definitely would be interested in doing something for sure, for sure, you know. Actually, you know what, John? Um, contact me, to be honest with you, please, because I, I may have an opportunity for Lebanon Valley, the, the Dover reunion, which is um, very viable for most of the sponsors there. That's and, good. And yeah, that's a, that's that a good race. Well, for you, that's a good race. I've got, I've got, a, I pulled the uh, flyer up on it and got it on my computer for next week. Yeah. Dino, Dino Lawrence is, is the guy that runs that show. And, um, you know, we're all on the same page as far as marketing, getting sponsors and, and you know, putting these shows on. If it wasn't for our sponsors, you know, Alky Diggers, and I'm sure John and I'll figure out something. But um, it, it's, you know, all our sub sponsors and the team sponsors, Lucky Dog, uh, right. Charlie, uh, it, it's you know, it's it's going to be, we, you know, we're out of our pockets. Hey, I am. Uh, I, I sent John a message asking him about Champion brand products. Any of your guys using that? What spark plugs? No, uh, oils. No, that'd be interesting because um, Champion brand is an oil company, and I, I met the guy who I guess is the owner of that company a few years ago. Maybe it was with Vegan. Uh, maybe it was through being, and I don't remember. And I just wanted to find, I, I sent John a message because I wanted to find out more information on champion brand uh, lubricants mm -hmm. uh, because they, they've got a real good line. And I wanted to check their, their pricing. I wanted to check their availability of where they're at and, and what they're doing uh, and, and see how, how they want to attack the marketing on, on their product because you don't like I ask you and you're at the track every weekend you hadn't heard of them so evidently their marketing hasn't hit the east coast 
No, for, uh, obviously not. You know, um, I'm going to be at Cecil County with with their uh, with the Mid Atlantic show next week, this weekend, this coming Saturday, and um, I'm not racing because my car's not off the race because I figured I'd save half the trip going down. So um, I wish it was with me, but that's a whole nother. But because you know, that's a quarter mile track, it'd be nice right. to try and hit 200 with that. Um, but um, it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to see the product also as well. And, and yeah. inform- information on that. Yep. I mean, you know, I'm a big Amelie guy, but uh, I, I I like to try other things as well. Well, you know, most of my, a lot of my guys um, either are, I use Brad Penn for, for a long time because that's been good. It's been good to me. But some guys use different stuff, but anything's possible. The know? reason I like the reason I like the Amelie oil, I use 2050 in the dragster. Mm-hmm. I also use 2050 in my tow vehicle, my my, my Ford. Right. And um, Amelie's 2050 is amazing with alcohol. Yeah. It, it doesn't milk up real. It doesn't, it, it doesn't milk up. Uh, and it, it's just really, really good. And That's it's good. easy for me to sell that 2050 because it's got, it's got the diesel molecule in it. Yeah. So you can use it on your diesel engine or you can use it on your, your race car or, right. or your, anything that you drive. But that was one of the things that was a, a big seller for me when I would have that in the trailer. People would buy that because I always had it and they knew that they could use it in their race car and yeah. their tow vehicle. Yeah. So yeah. that, but a, a lot of a lot of the 2050s that are out there on the market don't have that diesel molecule no, in it. They, they, they don't have the zinc in there. and everything else in it. Right. Exactly. Or, so, or on that. but and, the, um, the zinc level of it was high. It was it was it was right. good. It was it's a really good oil. And that's but, what we. I mean, most of my guys use straight 50 because they're blown out, you know, on that because it, it just doesn't break down as much. I used to use the 2050 on my injected car. When, when in the injector motor, but we, we switched this to straight 50 because it just seems to be safer. My builder looked at it and he goes, everything looking good. So that on that, but I, I'm definitely open to, you know, um, it'd be interesting to try something for sure. Hey, John, you basically says he used that champion. He uses that champion brand in his pro mod. Okay. There you he go. said it's pretty damn awesome stuff. There you go. Just uh, tell me you if it's got, John, just tell me if it's got that diesel molecule in it. You know what? Maybe John and Champion and everything else, we can do something with that. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And, uh, you know, my, my my guy with Amelie, my distributor with Amelie, is, he, he's a good guy. And he, he he does a lot at helping us for things that, that we do. But we were having a talk a while back, and Amelie doesn't do anything. Yeah. So all the stuff he's done with me over the years – he has done it. It hasn't. Right. I've done it to help promote Amelie products, but it's he's the one that's doing it. Yeah, right. And, so and, and I, you, know, you know, and I said, yeah, not the company itself, but the distributor or somebody else. That's right. That's you right. Know, I, I mean, God bless him because you know what? He understands the, the power of marketing and teaming up with people and getting the name out. That's it. That's, that's it. That's exactly it. You know, and that's that's. You know, we do that. We do it all our sponsors, Alki Digger. I know Mike and I have to talk with you guys and get you. I'm going to send you a banner. I'm going to put it on my dime and send you a banner. because so <laughs> Man, you're too good to me. You're too good to yeah, me. You know what? Mike is good to us, and I'm going to send one down to you. I, you know, I know you sent me the address. I've just been running around crazy. But Oh, uh, I know the feeling. I told I told the uh, two guests to go, Chester. I told him, I said, I'm, I'm very fortunate. I've got enough in the work. I've got enough work in the shop for five people. Good. Unfortunately, it's just me. Yeah. I know. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate you coming Thank on. You, Look, is there anything else you want to say about this Ronald McDonald? The Ronald, no, just come on out. You know, um, it's Maple Grove, which, and, and I think it's quarter mile too, because I know a lot of tracks are running eighth, but if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a quarter mile race. Hey, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a search when I go off the show tonight of Maple Grove and find out what kind of military uh, is around there, uh, and then if there's anything around there, I'm gonna reach out to them and see if I can get them to put a push on uh, and do a little do a little advertising and, and promoting to twenty dollars a carload, man. You know what? 
let me reach out to Denny Parisian too, because he's the guy that's that's out my contact too. And if you want to drop my name, that's fine. Say, look, I've been, you know, Jim's been on my radio show and and, and you know podcasts. Yeah. Yeah, but and, we, and you know, anytime I can get the guys from the military, you know, they need something to do on weekends that don't cost a lot of money. And twenty dollars a carload is not a lot of money for. That's plenty of beer money left. No, oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I thank you, Jim. Thanks, John. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you, buddy. See you, man. All right, buddy. Bye. Yeah, James, go CBs. Yeah, just another. I was a Navy guy myself. You know, y'all just another branch of the Navy. You're like y'all, y'all always doing things with us. It's kind of like the Marines. They, they they always call us for a ride when they need to go somewhere. But love them all. Love them all. Military is my life. Love all the military guys. Uh, all right, everybody. I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to watch the show, like the show, share the show, see the intro of the show, if you didn't tune on right at the beginning of it, check out the new intro. Uh, it's pretty cool. Sure, Media Production put that together for us. They're a new strategic partner with the Edge Radio US and Whiskey Cars and Cigars. And you're going to see a lot of new stuff going on with them. Uh, so why I say that is I want you to check out the outro of the show as we close out here. Good night, everybody. And I will see you next week.